Hello class 2, we are going to do chapter 1 of science together and it's a chapter called bones and muscles and it's all about the human body. So we will learn a little more about how our body does its work. Now human body is like a machine. You learned this word in class 1, the word machine and they are, the science calls the human body also like a machine. Now what is the human body make up, made up of? The human body is made up of bones, muscles and then all of this gets covered by what we can see on our body, skin. So if you feel your arm, you will be able to feel the bone inside. And the skin covers the whole body on the outside. So if this is if this is your arm, right? There's the bone is in the arm. So this is the bone here. This is the these are the muscles. And then the covering on top is called skin. Now, how many bones are there? Let's learn a little more about the bones in our body. There are 206 bones in our body. All these bones join together to form a framework in our body and this is a new word for you. It's an important word. It's called skeleton. Now what is the skeleton? You must have uh, seen it in other other places. It is nothing but your the inside of your body, right? So it has all the bone structure that we cannot see on a day-to-day -day basis, all of that forms the skeleton in our body. Now this is not an accurate drawing but it's just to give you an idea that the skeleton is what is inside our body. It's the framework for our body. Now coming to muscles, how many muscle groups are there in our body? There are more than 600 muscles in our body. Muscles are fixed to the bones and they help them to move and muscles and bones work together they help us move they help us work they help us run and play so it's it, they all work very well together now there are two there are different kinds of muscles okay but we're going to learn about small muscles and big muscles so what are small muscle example is an eye muscle so your eyes have muscles in them right so your eye muscles are the small muscles of our body and then there are big muscles, which are they, say, on your arms, on your legs, these are all big muscles. And there are muscles on our heart and stomach as well. Now, if we exercise, then our muscles become stronger. So we must exercise to help get better strength in our muscles, right? So if we do exercises, what are some of the exercises we can do? We can do weightlifting. What is weightlifting? When we lift up heavy weights. Okay, so weightlifting is an exercise that helps, helps the muscles grow. Then we can do uh, swimming. We can go cycling. So all of these are examples of exercises we can do that strengthen our muscles. And anytime you play, that also helps your muscles get stronger. Now, something important in this chapter is a part on posture. So, what is posture? Posture is the pose that we, the position in which we keep our body. When we sit, when we stand, when we move about, that is called posture. So, remember the word position and you will remember the word posture. Okay, this is another new word. These are all new words for you. So, learn them as you learn this chapter as well. Now how, how, what is a good posture when you stand? You stand with your back straight, your chin up and when you put, you stand with on both your feet, right? Then how do you sit when you sit on a chair? You should sit on the chair with your back against the back of the chair. So you should not sit like this, right? When you're sitting on a chair, you should be sitting with your back against the back of the chair. And how should you walk? You should walk with your shoulders straight, with your uh, arms moving freely and walk in a good posture, right? So that's all important in terms of our body's um, working of mus bones and muscles 
together. We will do more about uh, these chapters in the days to come. But this is all for your lesson today.